More now on that saltwater intrusion emergency with a look at what all of those salinity numbers mean. Now you probably wondered exactly how much salt will be in the river and how much salt is in other types of drinks. Yep. The meteorologist Alexandra Cranford converted the numbers into teaspoons so we can see exactly how much salt we're drinking. Seawater, like in the Gulf of Mexico, has roughly 35,000 milligrams of salt per liter of water. So that means in a liter bottle like this, there are around three teaspoons of salt per liter. That's a lot, about as salty as a mixture you might use at home for gargling when you have a sore throat that has about two or three teaspoons of salt per liter. For reference, Lake Pontchartrain is brackish, a mix of fresh and salt water. Its salinity changes but is about 4,000 milligrams per liter, which equals about a half teaspoon of salt in a liter. Now switching to the less salty side, an advisory for drinking water goes out when there are 250 milligrams of chlorides in one liter. That is not a lot of salt. It's just barely a pinch of salt. You can start to detect a salty taste to the water when chlorides reach about double the advisory, so about a sixteenth of a teaspoon of salt in a liter bottle of water. It's fine for most of us, but for people who have a very low sodium diet for things like high blood pressure or kidney disease, the Environmental Protection Agency recommends no more than 20 milligrams of sodium per liter of water. That's a few grains of salt. Some common drinks have much more salt than that. For example, Gatorade has about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, and even Coke has near a 16th teaspoon of salt per liter. Both of those are saltier than the drinking water advisory limit. In New Orleans right now, chloride levels are at about 50 parts per million, according to the Sewerage and Water Board, which equals 50 milligrams per liter. That is well below the drinking water advisory limit. Drinking water at Belchase and Dalcor has stayed below 60 milligrams of chlorides per liter, also well below the advisory limit and fine for most people, except for people on a very low sodium diet. And in Lower Plaquemines Parish, some great news there this week is that chloride levels are back to the advisory limit or lower, thanks to the installation of the reverse osmosis machine. But back on September 24th in Boothville, chloride levels peaked at 1,800 milligrams per liter. That's almost a quarter of a teaspoon, almost as salty as Lake Pontchartrain. Farther upriver at Port Sulphur and Point Alahash, chlorides peaked much lower, only around 400 milligrams per liter. That's about the same as Coke. So how salty could the water get in New Orleans? We can't say for sure, but if it were to get to the very highest levels recorded in late September in Lower Plaquemines Parish, that would be about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt per liter of water. However, if chlorides are kept to the advisory limit or lower, then we really wouldn't taste the salt in the water at all, and only those on very low sodium diets would need to use bottled water.